guys, Larissa with Because is here. Today I will show you how to make this beautiful chain scarf. Uh, it's very easy. You just need uh, one pound of uh, super chunky merino wool for the uh, chain scarf of 85 inches or it's about seven feet long. If you want it much longer, you can have two pounds. Then you will have extra long and then you can use it uh, in two layers like that. So it's a really uh, fun scarf because you can wear it in so many different ways and it's quite easy to do. Even person who has never knitted before can do it and it's just one pound uh, of super chunky merino that you can buy at our website becauseit.net. Let's do it! For this project, for the chain scarf, we will be using one pound of this pink powder beautiful light pink color. Uh, we will connect two ends together in order to make scarf a little bit uh, wider. You can use just one, it will be much thinner, but it's possible to use one. Then you will need just a uh, half pound for this chain scarf of 85 inches. Uh, one pound, uh, if you connect it in two, will give you a chain scarf of 85 inches and we will start as usual with the loop this is the end this is working yarn we're making a loop inserting your hand grabbing working yarn pull it out and this is our first stitch now we will be making uh, chain from the stitches as we were doing when we were knitting or casting on for the blanket so you basically just insert your hand, grab your working yarn and pull it out. That's it. And then you're just making the same until you have all your yarn used. The thicker the yarn, the thicker your scarf will be. This uh, yarn, this wool connected in two, will give you the chain scarf approximately 5 inches width about four or five inches and as I mentioned one pound will be enough for 85 inches scarf if you want a little bit longer you can buy one pound and a half it will give you the scarf with the length about 125 and if you buy two pounds it will be extremely long scarf chain scarf about 160 170 inches so anyway Keep doing it until you keep making a chain until you use all of your yarn and then I will show you how to finish the scarf. So when you have just uh, a little bit left you are inserting your working yarn or the tail that left inside the last stitch and pulling it out and this way you just finished your chain and then you turn it and hide the end between one of the stitches on the back. That's how it would look on the back. And the same way you will hide the end at the beginning of the chain scarf. You turn it on the other side and hide the end between stitches. And that's how it's done. Your beautiful chain scarf 